Ten years ago, Ron Garin, the NASA astronaut, traveled to the International Space Station, an experience he recalled for us on the China Current and now in a new book he's written called Floating in Darkness. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. Ron's story and the exploration of space allows us to understand ourselves better and in unexpected ways. Take this for example, Chinese Olympic swimmers are using space technology to train better, reduce drag in the water and impact the forward speed. Researchers at the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation have innovated a small-scale guidance system based on one they would use for missiles, rockets and satellites to help swimmers propel underwater. They've added cameras and motion sensors to track progress and refine technique so that every part of the body, from the torso to the arm and even the fingertip, are optimized for high performance. In the 1960s, my father created navigational instruments later adapted for aviation and maritime use. So this is a story that fascinates me, namely how we can apply technology to improve human society. The swimmers benefited from the science behind intercontinental ballistic missiles, mimicking the flight and precision and recreating the aerodynamic motion. China's progress in space has given its sports team a homegrown advantage, as has the knowledge that led to the new Mach 30 wind tunnel in Beijing, capable of simulating flight at record speeds. Before Tokyo, the national swimming and rowing teams used wind tunnels at research facilities dedicated to aircraft and missile development. The swimmers won three gold medals in the men's 200 meter individual medley, women's 200 meter butterfly, and women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay, where they beat powerhouse teams in the USA and Australia. The rowers, meanwhile, who trained in a wind tunnel adapted for outside weather conditions, came away with three medals, including gold in the women's quadruple skulls. That may be nothing compared to the divers who've now won 47 gold medals since China's return to the Olympics at the Summer Games in Los Angeles, but swimming and rowing go beyond traditionally successful sports. For the first time, the country fielded an equestrian team and they came away with new Olympic champions in sailing, fencing and track cycling, all of them disciplines that are unfamiliar to everyday sports in China. Seeing so many different countries find success in so many different disciplines was what made these games in Tokyo very interesting. And hopefully we'll see that same spirit of globalization when Beijing hosts the next Olympics in February 2022, the first city to host a summer and winter games. But the real story is this, that we can use space and the human imagination to be the best all of us can be.